Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Practice Course. In this video, we will demonstrate use of KNN in the regression setup with California Housing Dataset, where we will try to predict price of a house based on its feature. We know that KNN can be used in addressing regression problems, and this notebook is an attempt to demonstrate application of KNN in regression problems. We will import libraries that are needed for this demonstration. We need scikit-learn version later than 0.20 for this collab to run. We make sure that we indeed have that criteria met through the assert statement. Next, we will import a few common libraries like NumPy and Pandas for manipulating the training data. We import matplotlib.pyplot for plotting various graphs and figures. As far as model development is concerned, we import the following libraries. For data loading, we import fetch underscore California underscore housing library. The data is split into training and test with train underscore test underscore split library. For model building, we use pipeline setup and hence we import the pipeline library. There are two stages in the pipeline, data processing and estimator. We import min max scalar for pre-processing and k neighbors regressor for regression. We'll also experiment with polynomial features and for that we import polynomial features library. The number of neighbors k is a hyperparameter in KNN and we show how to find it through grid search CV and randomized search CV libraries. So that was about importing various libraries for this demo. The most important prerequisite in any ML system is the data. In this case, we'll be using California housing dataset. For loading the data, we set return underscore x underscore y parameter or flag to true, which returns the dataset in form of a feature matrix x and label vector y. Let us check the shapes of feature matrix and label vector. There are 20,640 examples in the dataset. Each example corresponds to one house and is represented with eight features. It is useful to perform a quick sanity check to make sure we have equal number of rows in feature matrix and label vector. We make use of assert statement for that purpose. And assertion is true, hence the condition is met. Next, we will split the data into training and test sets. For that, we use train underscore test underscore split library. And we basically set aside 30% examples as test and remaining 70% examples are used for training the model. We obtain feature matrix and label vectors corresponding to training and test sets. We quickly check the shapes of training feature matrix and the test feature matrix. So there are 14,448 examples in the training set and 6,192 examples in the test set. Let us make sure that we have equal number of rows in the feature matrix and label vectors of both training and test sets. And both these assertions turn out to be true, hence we are good to proceed further. The next step is pre-processing the dataset. We have explored California housing dataset in detail earlier in this course. In order to refresh your memory, we have bar graphs corresponding to all the features and output label plotted here. So observe that features are on different scale and we need to bring them on the same scale for KNN. Remember that KNN uses Euclidean distance computation to identify the nearest neighbors and it is crucial to have all the features on the same scale 
for that. If features are not on the same scale, the feature with wider variance would dominate the distance calculation. The next step is model breeding. For that, we instantiate a pipeline object with two stages. The first stage performs feature scaling with mean max scalar and the second stage performs KN regressor with, with the number of neighbors equal to 2. In short, we are using 2NN, that is, we use the price of two nearest houses in the feature space to decide the price of the new house. The model is trained with feature matrix and label vector from the training set. After the model is trained, it is evaluated using the test set with mean squared error metric. So we get the mean squared error of 0.67 on the test set. So the next step is model selection and evaluation. So KNN classifier has K, which is the number of neighbors, as a hyperparameter. There are a couple of ways to tune the hyperparameter. One is manual hyperparameter tuning or using automated ways like grid search CV or randomized search CV. We demonstrate manual and grid search based hyperparameter tuning in this demo. In manual hyperparameter tuning, we use cross-validation. Here, we train and evaluate the model pipeline for different values of k in the range between 1 and 31. So we have an outer loop running here, which has different values of k. And then we have the same pipeline set up as before, except that the number of nearest neighbor are now parameterized, and they take the value of k, which varies iteration after iteration. Then we fit the model, we make the prediction on the test set and we calculate the RMSC metric on the test set. At the end of the loop, we get list of RMSCs, one for each value of k. We plot the learning curve with k on x-axis and RMSC on y-axis. The value of k that result in the lowest RMSC is the best value of k that we select. So here we plot the graph where we have k on x-axis and RMSC on y-axis and you can see that initially the RMSC dropped sharply up to a point after which the RMSC start going up. So this point is possibly the best value of k that we can use in our estimator. So the lowest RMSC value is at k equal to 9. We can perform the same thing in an automated way using grid search CV. For grid search, we need to set up a parameter grid for the values of k that are of our interest. Here we use the value of k between 1 and 31. The object of grid CV is instantiated with k nearest neighbor regressor along with the parameter grid and number of cross validation folds equal to 10. The grid search is performed by calling the fit method with training feature matrix and labels as argument. After the model is trained, the best estimator can be obtained by accessing the, the best estimator underscore member variable of grid search CV object which is GS. In this case, we found the best KNN regressor to be 6NNN regressor. So number of neighbors that we found through grid search CV, the optimal value of that is 6. Let's evaluate the best estimator on the test set. And the RMSC value here is 0.62. Now comparing this with the RMSC value earlier, which was 0.67, we indeed obtain a smaller RMSC value with 6NN with 6NN regressor. So as an exercise, I would like you to perform hyperparameter search with randomized search CV. And it will also result into similar, uh, similar RMSC value if you, of course, allow it to run for enough amount of time with enough resources. 
So in practice, you have to use either grid search CV or randomized search CV to perform hyperparameter search in KNN. So in addition, we perform polynomial transformation on the features followed by scaling before using it in the nearest neighbor regressor. So here we set up a pipeline object with polynomial features followed by scaling followed by the K neighbor regressor estimator. Here we are setting, we want to basically search for the best value of the degree in polynomial features and number of neighbors in KNN. And we set the parameter grid for the polynomial degree in the range 1 to 4 and for nearest neighbor in the range 6 to 12. We perform the grid search CV on the pipeline object which contains the polynomial, uh, polynomial transformation followed by the k nearest neighbor regressor. Here we set the parameter grid to, to the grid that is defined over here and number of cross validation folds is set to 10. We perform the grid search CV by, by calling the fit method and passing the training feature matrix and the training label vector. Once the grid search CV is performed, we obtain the best estimator by, by accessing the member variable which is best underscore estimator underscore member variable of the grid search CV object which is GS in this case. And you can see that the grid search found the polynomial uh, transformation with degree 1 to be optimal along with the number of neighbors equal to 6. We evaluate the model with the test set and we obtain comparable accuracy of 0.62 with the earlier grid search that we performed without polynomial regression and they are kind of equivalent because we found a polynomial uh, transformation with degree equal to 1 to be optimal. In this video, we studied how to use KNN in regression. We also discussed how to find the optimal value of K through grid search CV.